Welcome to today's Rhapsody of Realities, written by Pastor Chris Oyahilome, Friday, 18th December 2020. We are King Priests and had made us kings and priests unto God and His Father. To Him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Revelation chapter 1 verse 6 The phrase king and priest in the scripture above is also rendered a king of priests. In other translations, the reader tends to assume that a kingdom of priests is referring to a kingdom where there are priests. But the accurate expression is king priest. He is made us king priest, which is a fulfillment of prophecy. In Exodus chapter 19, verse 5 to 6, God said to the children of Israel, Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine, and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. The word translated kingdom is the word royal. So, then, so when God said to the Israelites, I am going to make you a kingdom of priests, he meant you will be royal priest or king priest. Peter knew that the fulfillment of that prophecy had taken place in Christ Jesus. The Bible says, For all the promises of God in Him are yes. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20. Therefore, He has got a royal priesthood, but you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a dedicated nation, God's own purchased special people that you may set forth the wonderful deed and display the virtue and perfections of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9 As a king priest, your primary responsibility is kingly intercession. With prayers and supplications, God has given you the dominion and the authority to alter the course of events in the earth using the name of Jesus. So, side with God in bringing His will to pass in the earth, in your family, in the lives of those around you, in your city and country. Learn to direct the influence of God's power towards them in prayer until you have a note of victory in your spirit. Hallelujah. Prayer Thank you, dear Lord, for the presence of the Holy Spirit in my life who helps me fulfill my ministry of kingly intersection as a king priest and unveils to me your will and purpose for my family, friends, city, nation, and the world as I side with you in bringing it to pass. I pray that your word prevails in the lives of men for increased activities of righteousness and that your presence matters their hearts everywhere in Jesus' name. Amen. For that study, Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17 to 21. 
1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1 to 2. Romans chapter 8, verse 26 to 28. Meditate on these words. Give yourself wholly to them. And your profiting may appear unto all. Have a blessed day.